Well, how's it going, everybody? Greg Scott Bailey here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And welcome to The Last of Us, Episode 1 Spoiler Talk. Um, I couldn't come up with like a, a, a catchy, phrasey kind of thing. We're just going to call it Spoiler Talk, I guess. Um, so I'm going to talk about the episode, what I saw. So once again, if you guys have not seen Episode 1 of the, the HBO Max Last of Us TV show, then pause this, go watch the episode, come back an hour and a half later. <laughs> uh, hour 20 hour 15 something like that uh, it, it was it was quite an extensive amount of time and uh i'm all for it so are you done you ready you're good okay <laughs> uh so full disclosure i have actually not played the game not played the last of us or last of us 2 um i did start watching some of the cutscene movies that people put together of all the scenes and again spoilers I got up to the part where uh, Joel's daughter dies, and I thought, okay, I'm going to stop here because I know that there's a TV show coming, and I actually wanted to kind of give myself this, like, at least a little bit fresh perspective on the the show and the story and the characters, and I've seen Joel, I've seen Ellie, I've seen people cosplay him all the time, um, you know, we, we, we've all come across that, you know, so there's no fresh perspective there but i didn't know what the actual story itself was about uh being a fan of the walking dead as you can see my background here from uh, a video game called seven days to die i'm a zombie fan i'm a, a zombie apocalypse kind of fan i it, it's it's kind of world that i live in some of my entertainment so when i decided i'm not going to play the game uh like last second to try to get to the tv show i want to go in fresh uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where I'm, I'm sure you're going to get some people doing some co comparison videos and they're going to kind of tell you, uh, what they think was better or worse. And for me, I, I just like to talk about the things I enjoy and boy, did I enjoy the first episode of the last of us. So, um, what right off the back, one thing that I noticed right away, and again, this is spoiler talk. So if you guys have not seen this, please just last warning. <laughs> uh, the episode goes into Joel's daughter, uh, as far as like her day to day life, her routine, it follows her around. And I, I was like, I don't remember that in that initial cutscene. And this is as far as it goes for me, as far as comparison goes. But it started clicking. I'm like, oh, because we're not following the story from her character's point of view in a video game now. We want to empathize with her and follow along with her and feel that pain when that scene happens. And it did happen uh, where we lose Joel's daughter. And you right off the back, you see what kind of person Joel is. You see what kind of person his brother is and you see what kind of person uh, his daughter is. And you're connected already. I want to see what the rest of this family does. I want to see what kind of uh, other like birthday surprises and, and movies and, and things that this family is going to do. Oh, but wait, no. Uh, sort of zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so it, it's, it's heartbreaking because you do see like that, that, that moment of, of change where like, there you go. So at the very least, I did like the opening, uh, parts where we start kind of feeling the characters along their journey. And it was very nice to kind of just get a, a brief glimpse of a little bit of neighborhood and life before the apocalypse. It's always nice to see some of that because while we in our real life are already experiencing it, you're now seeing the characters experience it as they then move into their own uh, uh, apocalypse and, and, and dire situation, what they're going to have to do to get through it or out of it. Uh, so when they did finally get to um, to all those scenes, just devastating going through the city. I couldn't even imagine what I would do either. You got people running through the streets. You're trying to drive. You're maybe thinking your family and nobody else. F everybody else, you know, so you're going to run people over. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, I would hope I wouldn't do that, <laughs> you know, but it's a panic situation and, and, and it's something scary and serious that's happening. So I love that they went through that journey. They didn't skip over it. And again, that's about where I stopped at um, the cutscenes for the video game going into what I saw with the uh, opening episode here. Now, what almost kind of loses me a little bit is now you have to slow it down. And it said that it's 20 years later. I'm like, oh my God, it's, they're going to do that much of a jump. So they went from 2003 to 2023. And anybody that knows me is like, oh, wait, I've been talking about 20, 25 year gaps lately in my life. So 
Uh, I'm gonna shut up about that. <laughs> uh, so, it, but it was, it was you, you can't help feel what you feel. And for a brief moment, I was like, "Ooh, 20 years later, really." Uh, but sure enough, you know, it turned out that uh, that it was all for the better. Uh, much like uh, Half Life Two. Again, I'll bring up another video game reference. Uh, much like Half Life Two or other stories about ap apocalypse situations that are later and there's some form of military control you started kind of getting that feeling around the back like oh okay so now we're starting to see the faction situation military control people trying to get through their day-to-day -day lives and a resistance camp that's uh, trying to fight against military control i'm like okay cool i'll, I'll go with that for now and it, it's just again it's like for for a brief moment i'm just kind of feeling like oh you know ha haven't we kind of seen this a lot in in video games but then that was all just pushed aside because uh anna torv uh if you guys remember from fringe uh she comes on into uh into play as well nice tough gal character uh she's you know putting up with uh, kind of the no shit attitude but it's cool because you know she is trying to work out uh, a deal and a situation that benefits both parties and i, I love characters like that I, I love characters that say look here's the reality of our situation uh here's option a Here's option B and, you know, and, and, and they, they somehow they're able to powerhouse through it. And you see right away to like the connection of, uh, of this new gal. And I do apologize. I don't remember Anna Torv's uh, character name. I'll, uh, I'll have the character names down by next episode, but uh, it, you kind of see that dynamic that uh, there's a reason why Joel would be with someone like this. She's tough. She can take care of herself. He's tough. He can take care of himself. And a dynamic like that, I love that when they put the, kind of those kind of characters together in these post-apocalyptic stories. So that's really nice. So um, what else we got? We got the mystery of the brother. Where's the brother? Is it Tommy? Uh, Tommy is missing. Uh, we hear that he is out in some outpost or he's outside the walls. And sounds like he got um, recruited by this resistance group. And so now you're, you're seeing the clock ticking moment. You see where they have to get stuff to where they get outside the walls and they they're they're just trying to get to a life outside of most likely i'm guessing the the uh military control so following all of that it, it wasn't too overwhelming it wasn't too hard to follow and i really appreciated that they they didn't linger too much in the town that they are in that uh the rest of the second half of the episode or second two-thirds of the episode uh deals with uh leaving the town and then they're out of the walls Bella Ramsey as Ellie, I immediately when they cast her, and I saw her in, in Game of Thrones, as well as Pedro Pascal, of course. But Bella Ramsey, I'm just sitting here like, I don't know anything about this character, Ellie. But I am curious to see Bella Ramsey's acting style with a, a character that is supposed to be what, from impressions I got, were the... Well, most recently, um, Wolverine, Logan, and uh, X-23, you know, what, what, what we got to see with the Logan movie. Uh, but I believe, uh, is it Wolf, Wolfman and Cub or, or something like that? Correct me in the comments below. I, I, I can't remember. But that goes back to that, harkens back to that story we, where you got an uh, older guy taking care of a uh, young kid going through dire situations. And... So when I already know Bella Ramsey's character from Game of Thrones, and I'm guessing that they had hired her to have that that fierce tenacity, I wasn't let down one bit. <laughs> you do not take Ellie's knife away. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> but no, it, it it was great because I think any other show that would have had a story like this would have lingered way too long. Uh, the the character of Ellie would have been uh, stuck in a building for a couple episodes. Uh, Joel and, again, Anna Torb's character, they would have been trying to get the battery and then trying to get the cables and then trying to, you know, it's things that we do in the video games, right? And we have to get all these little parts and components. But, uh, you know, if you guys can relate with me, when you spend way too much time trying to get parts and components, components in a game and it takes forever and then you can't find that missing component and maybe you find a cheat sheet or something like that but when it takes too long to do that don't you kind of lose a little bit of interest in the game same thing seems to apply to some of these uh tv shows and movies where they spend just way too much time on these things that that don't really get the characters anywhere so i felt like the first episode went ahead and pushed 
the the characters to where we're gonna see the journey continue and that's what i wanted i I want to next week i want to go and see where they're traveling out in the world and what they're going to experience the things that are going to come across uh we see the the previews uh looks like nick offerman's in the show i didn't know that uh so i look forward to seeing what his character is all about and you're just you're you're looking at all of the uh um the possibilities of things to come for the rest of the season so those previews were nice after the episode I, i watched a little bit of the um uh what do you call it the not behind the scenes, but a little bit behind the scenes and interview uh, type stuff. I love that HBO Max does that, and I, I, I wish other streaming services would do the same because it's just a really nice palate cleanser after you're done with an episode. And I'm sure we're going to get some heartbreaking stuff. Um, if, if anything, from Game of Thrones, uh, the, some of those episodes, The Red Wedding, you know that it's nice to kind of have a little bit of a palate cleanser afterwards. <laughs> so, uh, but as far as my impressions of the show, I'm I'm hooked already. I'm on. I'm ready to go. I had no doubts, and if they had it had been lackluster, I wouldn't even have done this uh, review, the spoiler talk about it. But uh, the the optimism of of how I thought this was going to go went from here to here. It's just you know we we moved it up a notch too, uh, just by expectations and watching the show and as i get to talk through it i'm I'm really i'm looking forward to episode two and i'm really hoping that this is a adaption that video game fans also enjoy we could use a lot more positive uh reinforcement on the video game to movie or tv show adaptions in the future and so hopefully this uh, also resonates really well with the uh video game community the people that who have played the game and i'm really hoping everybody understands that this is an adaption and we're probably going to see things done just a little bit different and dare i say some of the maybe shock or surprise moments in the game will get changed a little bit so that we have a different approach and and maybe to avoid some spoilers or expectations and you can't win them all but uh i think so far from the initial views that we're seeing from people it sounds like it sounds like it's getting really good reviews and i'm 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 all for it uh so uh that's kind of it that's real quick uh i say quick but uh you know i I, it's not like i'm gonna go an hour on this uh, but if you guys do want to hear uh, anything in more in depth, if you guys want to uh, start maybe getting some some questions in and some discussions, I would really love to kind of hear from you. Go ahead and post it in the comments down below. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll try to set up a community tab before next uh, week's episode. Um, the community tab that will be before the episode, and then we'll do a community tab after the episode. And maybe I'll get a couple of your guys' uh, comments uh post it on the video. How do you guys like that? So uh, thanks again, everybody, for stopping by. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification so you get notified every time I post new videos on my channel. Uh, After this, I'm also posting a new episode of my Bows, Blades, and Bombs. It is my Seven Days to Die uh, vanilla series. Uh, If you guys have not played Seven Days to Die, you can go and find on that series the very first episode, and they're only about half an hour each. And it's basically a, a playthrough series of the video game Seven Days to Die. If you like zombie apocalypses, and you like The Walking Dead, you now like uh, The Last of Us, uh, I highly recommend it. If you guys haven't played it, it's a buildable, destructible environment, and I'm all for it. And always remember, too, a zombie cannot bite you if it doesn't have a head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so new merch available and check down the comments below too. Uh, it helps support the channel. I would certainly appreciate it. Don't forget to thumbs up, post those comments. And as always, we'll see you on the next adventure. All right. Bye-bye.